Well, today I took my drone FPV DJI out um, in the hope of getting some footage of sharks because there's been in, in the last week there's been quite a few reports of uh, mainly tiger sharks on our coast around in Perth coast. So anyway, got everything set up. I put the drone on the floor, motors all ready to go, and uh, I didn't see this. I put it down, turned around to close the car door, then I heard this crunch. Looked to where my drone was, and it was under the front passenger tyre, and I nearly died. The driver was an Italian woman. She would go on kite surfing, oh, well, if that's the right term, and she got angry with me, so angry. I said, why are you angry? Don't worry. I'll claim it on my insurance, you know? And then she changed her mind, because she thought, obviously, she's going to get charged for it. <laughs> People are strange. There's an old saying in the northeast of England where I come from. There's not as strange as folk. There is not think. People are strange. <laughs> Anyway, let me show you this drone. Um, at the moment, my favourite drone. It's an FPV drone. Look at it. Oh my God, everything's gone. One, two, eight cars. Everything's just smashed. It's, you know, I, I had an accident similar to this not so long ago with a, and uh, and uh, I was in, I was in a DIG care as this one is, and. Um, Oh, look at that. Yeah, and the, these two young lads drove over on purpose. Uh, drove over my Mavic Mini 2. And, uh, but this one, you know, it's... Oh, what they did was, it was smashed to bits, this Mavic Mini 2. And they said, well, uh, can you not send it away for repaired? repairs? I mean, you know, look at that. You got, there's no way on this planet, unless you spent a few billion, million, to restore this. Battery's gone as well. One, two, eight cards gone as well. No way could you ever repair that. In the end, they oh yeah, okay, sorry, Mr. Gowland. You know, <laughs> you can't repair that. We'll, we'll replace it for you. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, we've just got to start the claim now. So there is a lesson, and the lesson is um, be very aware of cars around you and try to take off from somewhere that's not going to be trodden on or drove, driven over. Um, look, you've got to laugh. I mean, what can you do, you know? It was just so freakish. Ah, I nearly forgot to mention this. The reason she couldn't see it was that she was in this uh, four-wheel drive that had been hiked about two foot further than it's normal. So it was really high. So this woman could not see my drone because she was uh, all she could see was her bonnet. She couldn't see my drone. So I think, well, I'm almost certain. It is definitely an accident. And it's a freakish accident. It never happened to me before. I never heard of anyone happen happened to me before. Anyway, a little lesson, I suppose. Put it on the floor when you can, where no, no one's going to walk over it or no car's going to go over it. And uh, hopefully I shall get a replacement and I'll let you know when I do. If you don't hear from me about the issue, I've not got anything. We'll see. <laughs> I'll put it down and a couple of minutes later, this four-wheel drive <laughs> ran over my bloody drone. Bloody shit. Oh, but anyway. Oh.